This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. Are you looking to enhance clarity in production without a PhD in observability? Try Honey Badger Insights. Honey Badger Insights is built around structured events and Honey Badger's new query language Badger QL, which allows you to analyze data, create metrics, and design custom dashboards. All of this is available for free with Honey Badger's monitoring suite, which includes error tracking, uptime monitoring, and more. Explore your data in new ways with Badger QL. It's pretty cool and simple. So give it a try today at honeybadger.io. That's honeybadger.io. In this episode, we're going to be looking at data. And data is something that was introduced in Ruby 3.2. And it's really interesting because it does act very similar to a struct or open struct. However, in this case, a data object is immutable, meaning that it can't be changed. So as you're creating different objects with data, you're not going to be able to modify them like you would a struct. But they do have a lot of use cases that we're going to look at within this example. And because this is part of the Ruby standard library, it isn't specific to Rails. And there are several use cases for this. But again, the one thing you want to keep in mind is that it is immutable. So once you create an instance of the data object, the data cannot be modified. And so a couple of places where I would use this is number one, if I need any kind of persistent storage, then this may not be a good fit. However, if I am working with geographical coordinates and need to do some calculations on them, then this will have a couple of benefits because we are ensuring that the data is immutable and it'll be consistent throughout the calculations. Another time I would opt for something like this is if I am working with an API. Because the API response isn't going to change, we can load it in into a data object so we're able to work with it more like a Ruby object instead of parsing out the JSON. And while this data class is similar to speed as a struct, it is significantly faster to work with than an open struct. And so in this episode, we're going to be exploring what this data define is and how we can use it. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.